Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine video. Today is just going to be a quick one as they've now officially released the Fab Marketplace, which has replaced the Unreal Engine Marketplace, Sketchfab, ArtStation, and they've all merged into one and it's available on Unity and Unreal Engine and further platforms in the future as well. I do have other videos where I'm going over this in more detail. If you do want to see those as well, they'll be linked in the description down below. But in today's video, what we're going to be doing is now that it is officially launched, I'm going to be showing you how to set this up to use it inside of Unreal Engine as well. Because what you can do is access it from inside your engine, so you can immediately add it in directly, nicely and easily. So that's what I'm going to be going over today. So what you want to do first is you want to open up your Epic Games Launcher, go to Unreal Engine, and go to Library. You can see here, this is all of my different random assets I've got. So what we're going to do is search in this asset library here, or your vault, and you want to search for Fab. And you should see you now have the Fab UE plugin. This should be added in automatically. If it isn't, then make sure that everything is fully up to date. You've updated your Epic Games Launcher. And once you've found this here, what you want to do is press Install to Engine, and then select the engine that you want to install it to. So I'm going to do 5.4. I'll press Install like so. This is going to do this nice and quickly. It's installing. Once it has installed, what we can then do is open up the engine version which we've just installed it to. So, for example, I've just done Unreal Engine 5.4. So, once this is finished cleaning up, I can open up a project that I've made in Unreal Engine 5.4. So, I'll get back to you once this is finished cleaning up. So, now that it is installed and I'm in a 5.4 project, what I can do is go up to Edit, Plugins, and then we can search for Fab. And you can see we now have this Fab plugin here. It should probably already be enabled for you by default. If it's not, you can just simply tick it there and it will be enabled. And then what you'll probably also notice, probably when you just open up your project, is that your browser will open telling you to sign in to Fab. So you can then press confirm to sign in. And then that should close and take you back into Unreal. And now what we can do is go to Window. And then see under here we've got Get Content, you have Fab. We can just press Fab here and it's going to open up another window in which will be the Fab Marketplace, as you can see perfectly here. And so now very simply, we have access to the Fab Marketplace as we normally would online, but we now have it in the engine instead, which is very, very nice. And you should already be logged in because of what we just did on the browser a second ago. Let's add in a free asset we have here. So you can see we have old mine here under Quixel. Let's click on this, and then you can add to project or add to my library. So you can just add into a library for later use in a different project. Or what we can do is just add to project here. You'll obviously then have to agree to all of this here. And you will say that I've read it. And you can see if you want to receive news and stuff. I do. So I'll tick that. And then I'll press accept. This is just because it's the first time doing this. So you'll have the same for you as well. And it's now adding it to the project as well. And also this is a good point here. You can see get all quicks or mega scans for free. That's because at the end of the year, they're no longer going to be free. They're going to be paid for. So what you can do now is claim them for free and you can keep them forever. And I imagine here there will be a link to click it. If not, you can go onto the fab.com website and there's a link there to do it. You just press the button and all of them are claimed. But you can see what's doing now is it's downloading this asset pack. And while it's doing that, we can have a read through it. So you can see this contains 61 assets, text resolutions 1, 2, 4, and 8K. And you can see it's just this simple, nice asset pack here. So the nice Quixel mega pack of an old mine that we can just immediately add into our project nice and easily through this new fab launcher. So now that it's finished adding it in, we can minimize this fab marketplace, go into our content browser, and you should see that we now have an old mine pack as well. So seen old mine here, if we go into the assets. We can see that we have all of these different things in here. They've all been added in nicely. We should also have a map somewhere. If we go into maps here, industrial old mines, we can open this up and you can see we've now very easily just added in a new asset pack into our project directly from Unreal Engine. We've not had to go onto Google to open up the Marketplace page. We've not had to go onto the Epic Games launcher. We've simply just done this all from directly within Unreal Engine, which is nice and easy and a very nice smooth process. So we can go over here and we can see that we have all these different asset packs now. If we press G to go into game view. We have all these different assets already immediately imported into our game and project ready for us to use anywhere that we want. So I think that'll be it for this video. What we've done is just a nice, quick, simple video covering how to use the new Fab Marketplace inside of Unreal Engine so you don't have to keep going onto Google or going into the Epic Games Launcher 
basically you don't have to go between all these different apps and services or whatever you can just do it all directly within the engine itself so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel a lot so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one